Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 28th, 2020. So yesterday we saw a little rally in the market. We saw the big tech giants leading the market. Unfortunately, we didn't see much of anything else. There is a palpable uncertainty in this market as to how these earnings reports are going to come out. And although we had Amazon, Apple, um, uh, Microsoft, Facebook, Google rallying yesterday, they did the majority of the lifting in the indexes. And if you notice, there was a lot of other stocks that just really had a, um, well, just an inability to, to thrive. There just wasn't enough buying in there to move them out of uh, consolidation zones that a lot of stocks have been stuck in for some time. And you may have noticed that, um, you know, you buy a really good buy, you know, entry pattern and then just really nothing happens after that lot of chop. So, there's this uncertainty that's going on and we're heading into those earnings reports and anything is possible um, as we progress through this week. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs and let's prepare for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have an interesting situation where we closed the day positive yesterday and we started the futures open positive, but over the night they have just kind of slipped negative. And this morning we're trying to rally off of the um, overnight lows as we approach a, a big round of earnings reports. So let's take a look at the technicals and what we can see here in the chart. First off, um, if I pull this back, we do have to recognize that we continue to remain in this overall downtrend in the longer term of, of the Dow chart. But we also have to recognize that we are currently rising in a trend as well. So we have this symmetrical triangle. We have a failure here to be able in the Dow to break above the island reversal that came in on early June with a failure here and a failure here. Yet we haven't lost enough energy or momentum or that bullish sentiment to prevent or to uh, to break us down really we're continuing to hold in here we're continuing to hold support levels in the chart so what this pattern really tells us is that possibility that we could really just continue um, winding around in here tightening up this wedge waiting for enough data to make that decision where we're either going to pop out or we're going to break down and it's hard to know what um, what comes next in this market. If we take a look at the moving averages, you can see we're holding on above our 200 day moving average, but it really wouldn't take a whole lot to push us back down below that level. So we're gonna wanna watch that pretty close. Oh, by the way, I'm, there's a mistake here. I'm looking at a two day chart. There we go. Um, so we're holding above that um, 50 day or 200 day moving average and notice our 50 day moving average is climbing. We're still pushing up on that 50 day. We're about ready to cross over the 500. We have a group of moving averages here to provide support in this chart. Um, let's hope that that actually can be the case that we really do hold that support. This morning, as you can see, the Dow is pushing down a little bit, nothing major, but just a little bit of bearishness giving up yesterday's gains as we kind of struggle along here trying to figure out what we're going to do with so many earnings um, FOMC um, all these things pending here in the market let's take a look at the spy um, SPY very similar situation but slightly more bullish as you can see if we if I draw those same lines here, we broke that downtrend and we're trying to hold this area here as support. I would consider that to be a bullish sign um, at the moment. We also broke above that island reversal and we're trying to hold in here, trying to hold it 
as some support, at least the bottom side of that as support. Um, we do have additional levels of support in this chart that could hold us in this trade. And we do have that rising um, uh, current trend in the market. So some bullishness, a little bit more bullishness here than we're seeing in the Dow, but still a little bit of concern. This morning, as you can see, we're looking at just a slight gap lower, which is taking back yesterday's gains um, a touch and raising a little bit of uncertainty in the market. However, we're still holding well above our averages here, pretty substantial hold above our averages. So no particular bearishness showing up here in the market or in the spy at all let's take a look at the cues qqq has been obviously the strongest of the bunch and yesterday with the big tech giants uh, getting a nice surge we pushed back up we pushed back up into some price resistance levels here of this uh, pattern and we still have this pattern here that should give us a little bit of concern. So this little back and forth, not all that impressive just yet. We're going to have to wait and see. Can we climb back above that resistance area, hold it as support, and then see bulls stepping through to push that on higher? We're going to want to watch that closely. Also keep in mind that this continues to hold this trend. Um, in the chart. So nothing really giving up here, just that uncertainty of what comes next um, showing up here in the chart. And then IBM yesterday, IBM ended up, or IBM, um, IWM held up quite well, holding on to its 200-day moving average. We struggle, we've been struggling along here with it. We still have that 50-day moving average rising, and IWM continues to hold up pretty darn well overall. We still seem to be challenged by this 500-day moving average up here, but nothing, uh, you know, no particular bearishness here at all. Um, we do... Um, still have the challenge of this downtrend in IWM that we have to contend with. So we need that burst of energy. We need something to um, give us that burst of energy to maybe drive us through to that upside move. And perhaps it's some really good earnings reports. Um, however, if those earnings reports aren't so favorable, we could slip. Now let's notice IWM also pulling back just a tiny little bit this morning, but it's holding up stronger than the other indexes, not giving back all of the gains from yesterday. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX saw a gap up yesterday and then declined. So we've challenged this 200 day moving average as resistance and so far um, fear continues to drift away. But unfortunately, we haven't really given up support yet. So we're still in that uncertain zone and we still remain quite elevated in the VIX. So we're going to have to really stay on our toes and stay focused on uh, price action in these charts because if we do start to turn, those sellers, those bears, we've seen how quickly they can come in and get pretty damaging. Um, to the indexes. So we're going to have to really stay on our toes, remain really flexible in this market. I know we all want the market to rise. We want that bullishness. It's so much easier to trade to the upside than it is to the downside. But please keep um, in mind that it is um, going to be a challenging week with lots of data that could move us in both directions really fast. So we're going to have to stay very flexible in our trading. If we take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, notice that we rallied back up yesterday, but it wasn't all that impressive in that move. And what that really means is we just had a lack of momentum in the market yesterday where we had those tech giants doing most of the lift Thing, but there was just a lack of momentum and, and volume of buying in most stocks. A lot of stocks stuck in consolidation, consolidating range. By the way, they're bullish consolidating ranges, but we just lack that energy to push through. So we're going to have to watch this closely as we perk back up into here, that bearish reversal zone up in this area. However, this morning we're seeing, and as I speak this morning um, in this video, futures 
futures have begun to slip a little bit more. We have uh, Dow futures now down 172. So we're continuing to slip a little bit as some of these earnings reports come in. So watch that closely. We could also see that bearish move really come into the market. And if those bears pick up, they haven't eaten in a long time. Remember, they have been pretty much kicked to the curb here for a long time. And the bears might be really hungry. If they start to push down, just consider that they may drive pretty hard. Don't expect the bulls to give up easily, but those bears um, may really push hard if they get some foothold and get some momentum going in their direction. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and we do have on our economic calendar a few things we'll want to consider and unfortunately we're not expecting the best of data um, to come in we get the s p core logic i doubt that that moves us around much in light of all of the earnings reports but currently we have consumer confidence and the um, consensus estimate is that consumer confidence is going to slip a little bit so if that consumer confidence starts to wane and uh, that could have uh, a bit of a negative effect on the market. If that number does come in as expected, we'll wanna watch that closely today. Keep in mind that we also begin the FOMC meeting today and we'll, um, we'll have that uncertainty as to what's gonna come out of that. So remember, we can sometimes just go into this choppy, ugly, nasty consolidation range where we kind of whip all over the place as we wait for that um, FOMC decision and the Fed chairman's press conference um, at two o'clock and 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. So we've got um, data out there that could hamper any kind of upside or downside that we go that we get moving in the market as we're just kind of waiting. We also have that potential of that stimulus bill moving along. Um, Senate unveiled their plan um, that's a trillion dollars. The other side has a plan that's three trillion dollars. I don't know who's going to win. There's going to be a battle royale, and we can expect a expect an awful lot of rhetoric um, coming out of the news cycle um, on that um, bill as it progresses along. So we've got that to deal with as well. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But guys, if you could do me a favor. Oh, oh, by the way, I forgot earnings. We've got um, a big round of earnings, not quite 100 earnings reports today. More companies reporting that I can possibly cover um, in the video this morning. But just keep in mind, companies like 3M reporting looks like it's gapping a little bit lower this morning. We have AMD. This thing has been a major high flyer. Um, ahead of earnings. It'll be interesting to see how it deals with its earnings report. Um, um, Altria is reporting today. We'll have um, a considerable number of uh, companies report. eBay will be reporting today. Starbucks reporting today. Um, Harley Davidson reporting today. Um, uh, Mondelez reporting. FireEye reporting. So we've got lots of data coming our way and that's only going to ramp up over the next two days. Um, it's going to get more intense as we move into some of those big tech earnings. So kind of keep that in mind. So with that, everyone, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that those thumbs up buttons um if you believe this video was worthy of of uh, well worthy of helping you to decide how to approach the market today if you felt like it was useful please also leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow the channel and always make sure to click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos i want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do that you guys are awesome and i truly appreciate it and honestly am humbled every time i read those comments um and i apologize yesterday i didn't get a chance to respond Respond to those comments I will be doing that today so thank you very much everyone for taking the time now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before I 
uh, mention some stocks that are setting up. I want to also mention this um, palpable uncertainty that we see in the market. There's a lot of good potential setups in the market, but there's also that uncertainty. And a lot of these stocks are in consolidating um, areas where they could quickly um, shift and go the other direction. But also remember, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. And it's just part of the education that I provide um, here with Rightway Options. So let's take a look at some of these stocks. Take a look at tech, T -E -C CH or K T E C X beautiful beautiful upside trend broke through resistance consolidated that move over to trend seeing some bullishness yesterday pushing on up we identified this early on yesterday in RWO I do think there are some right way options folks that are in this nice looking chart um, showing some strength here. Best Buy continues after gapping up, as you can see, gapping up, consolidating. There seems to be no willingness for um, sellers here in Best Buy. So if that continues in this consolidating move, I've placed an alert up here on this chart in case it goes early, but if that continues in this consolidating move or to trend, I want to be watching for that next opportunity for that to the upside. Um, how about Restoration Hardware? Restoration Hardware, there's that choppy consolidation again. And although it lifted yesterday, it wasn't exactly all that impressive. It did push up and we're we're going to have to watch that closely because we're getting a little bit of a wide bid ass spread this morning and that little bearishness could push us right back down into this consolidating zone so keep an eye on restoration hardware a good example of this is cisco now i actually hold cisco in a long term um, uh, with a long-term option, a leap option, looking for this to potentially break through this resistance. But I gotta tell you, there's nothing impressive about this chart because what we've done is we we get these ugly bearish candles and everybody thinks, oh my gosh, it's the world's coming to an end here in the stock. And then we get that bounce back just enough to kind of hold this in here on this trade. This is what we're seeing a lot of right now. We're looking for that inspiration. Whether we're going to get that inspiration, I cannot tell you. But we're seeing a lot of that back and forth. So one thing I want to mention is if you decide to trade a few of these trades, make sure you have enough time in the option contracts that you buy to allow that consolidating move to continue to chop around so that you get enough time to be right because this this may continue for some time yet um, in a chart like this or any of these charts that I'm showing before they finally get that inspirational move to either break through or break down so watch those pretty closely how about Jack Jack looking good. We have identified Jack last week in right way options. Nice little consolidating move. And you can see popping up, popping up into some resistance areas. We're seeing some fast food places move up. WEN Wendy's also making that move following along, pushing through some resistance highs as Wendy's is trying to push on higher. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on FCX. We know go Gold and silver have done remarkably well. They are pulling back today, but copper, copper is also one of those metals we might want to pay attention to and made great money on FCX a um, couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, this consolidating move in here, that possibility that copper could pick up and break out following this trend higher, that next leg up. So keep an eye on FCX. COPX, um, copper, oops. The copper ETF, miners ETF, also showing that bullishness. You can see breaking a long-term downtrend, pushing through some resistance levels in that chart, pushing on up yesterday. So keep an eye on copper. It might be the 
that next potential mover to the upside. Um, watch that close. We also have some really good patterns. Now keep in mind, these are gonna report soon, um, but really nice patterns here in Ford where we've made those higher lows, consolidating those moves. General Motors also hanging in there, also going to report soon. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. We've got MCD, um, McDonald's holding in a nice pattern. Um, once again, going to report. So you'll want to be careful with those. We have John Deere um, setting in a nice little consolidation zone, pushing against resistance in a nice little trend. Watch this close. This will be heavily affected by the Caterpillar earnings coming up. So we'll want to pay attention to that. That could inspire this higher. It could um, break it down. So lots of charts like that. We're seeing the same thing in like financials, XLF, just consolidating, stuck in this range, looking for inspiration to either move up or move down. XLE, the energies, stuck in that consolidation range, just lacking the energy, the mojo to get going here. So a lot of that going on right now in the market. Be really, really careful. Be cautious. Don't overtrade this market. And when you do have profits, don't be afraid to take those profits. Get some of those that cash into your account because the next hour, certainly the next day, can, can completely change the look and feel of the market so just stay on your toes and stay flexible everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you all the best great profits and please remember to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment thank you everyone for watching and i will see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day